Some people may say that I'm a little obsessed with puzzles, and, well, that's never been more true until now. Akio Kame is by far one of my favorite puzzle creators. He has also coined the name Karakuri Box, which translates to Trick Box. He founded the Karakuri Creation Group and has spent the last four decades handcrafting puzzle boxes that tell a simple and often humorous story. His craftsmanship and passion can be seen in every piece he conceives. To me, this one really embodies the nature of his creations. Feast your eyes on the Karakuri Hamburger. Discontinued in the 90s, it's one of the rarest puzzles to come out of Hakone, a small town in the Kanagawa prefecture known for being the home of Karakuri and Yosegi style puzzles. It is made of Katsura and Mizuki wood, both hardwoods found in Japan and topped off with a cowhide lettuce leaf and a slice of cheese. After years of searching, I finally came across one of these beauties and it ran me roughly $5,000. Now, some of you might say that I spent too much on something I might only play with once, but this is definitely a puzzle box that I will enjoy forever. And the solution, like many of his creations, is fairly simple. Remove the skewer, rotate the top bun, flip it, pull back the tomato, rotate it, and there you go a delicious little compartment. Roll Up, Roll Up by Simon Bexfield. All right, three things about this puzzle. One, you need to solve the rebus. Two, you need to roll the ball around the winding spiral and make it to the top. And three, this is the most infuriating puzzle I've ever attempted. So step one, there are three discs, two of which rotate at the bottom of this intriguing little curiosity. They're each filled with images. When reading the images, they create a sentence. This is known as a rebus. The outer layer reads as follows. To crack, roll up, and put ball at summit, you need hand-eye coordination and brains, brains. So now that we have this clue, I guess we need to line up the inner disks. I found that they line up in such a way that two of the pictures make for a word or a series of words that make sense. And these discs only rotate while upside down and lock into place while right side up. There's a bus here. And that lines up with R-E, spelling Rebus. Now we have Key Lime, Golden Gate, Peanut, Flag, Fish Eye. All of this works. All of this makes sense. Okay, so here we go. Time to roll up. I do enjoy this part quite a bit, as its very nature forces you to be patient. And what I mean is, the quicker you try and get to the top, the quicker you will start over. And over. And over. And over. So close. And over. No. Until finally. Oh, wait a minute, come on. You see, every time I make it this far, the ball gets stuck to a magnet. Now, I've tried flipping it upside down and rotating the discs, tapping, spinning, all of the above to no avail. I've tried reaching out to the creator with no luck. And herein lies my frustration with this puzzle. There are no words to describe the disappointment I feel when making it this far, only to be forced to give up. I feel like it's mocking me. But maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. I guess we'll have to set it aside and try another day. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. The Multi-Cube Soma Puzzle by NKD. Now, according to legend, the Soma Cube was invented by Danish poet and scientist Piet Hein during a course in quantum mechanics. The creator of this puzzle took the name from Aldous Huxley's seminal work, A Brave New World. 
where Soma is an addictive drug taken by the inhabitants of the quote-unquote establishment when they are neither working nor busy. Today, the Soma Cube is known as an addictive puzzle used as distractions when someone should be working or busy. The Soma Cube is a 3x3x3 dissection puzzle, which has been split into seven entirely unique pieces made of 27 cubes. The object of the puzzle is to organize these pieces into a solid cube. Completing Soma Cube puzzles in tests gives remarkably accurate insights into one's intelligence. The speed and accuracy at which one can complete a Soma Cube correlates greatly with one's IQ. However, it has been found that intellectual outliers and black swans with mental level IQs tend to struggle. A pinch of imagination and a bit of spatial awareness is required to complete the Soma Cube. There are 240 possible solutions to this puzzle. This particular variation uses a series of magnets on each side of the cubes. As if it wasn't addictive enough already, the snapping provides a very satisfying hit of dopamine, and doubly so when completed. How long would this take you? Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, would really appreciate it if you left a like and considered subscribing. We'll see you on the next one.